Hello everyone. In this video, we're gonna see, uh, show you how you can uh, integrate your uh, Jenkins server with uh, uh, GitLab. So uh, for this, so we you must need to have a GitLab account, and uh, you need to have a Jenkins admin access to configure it. Uh, to proceed with, uh, first we need to generate the uh, access token from our GitLab account. So log into your GitLab and uh, from the GitLab, go to your user settings and within the settings, you can see the option like access token. Uh, from the access token, you need to create a new access token so you can uh, get connect your Jenkins to GitLab. So we are seeing that it is a Jenkins uh, and now here we are, uh, we, are we wanted to uh, explicitly configure for like when the token get expired so we are uh, and here we need to specify the scopes so as of now we can we can divide I'm giving all the access but you can you can, you can give your uh, own required level of access so click, click on create personal token so once uh, it is done you will have a access token to and then go to your Jenkins manage Jenkins section from manage Jenkins you can go to the configure system and from that locate the git uh, from the git section from this particular section you can uh, on the git lab connection click on add uh, you can give it a friendly name like git lab and then uh, we need to uh, provide a git lab URL like https because we are using the cloud git so we are we are giving over right here like uh, gitlab.com actually yes that gitlab.com and over here we need to add a new token uh, from here we can see uh, select the gitlab api token from the api token we can put it over like api token id would be 231 or anything uh, which you want to add it and at here uh, we can see that uh, jenkins dash api dash gitlab so this is the friendly name you, you can choose your own friendly name and uh, this will be tagged uh, and then uh, we can select over here then test connection if the if the api token is generated successfully so connection got successfully access and uh, then we can save uh, and then uh in in some of the new project uh, uh, we, we can create a new project and then we can create, call it as a uh, open jenkins project so this is the friendly name we can choose the uh, freestyle project and from the freestyle project uh, i'm just uh, showing uh, one thing uh, which is get uh, source url sorry uh, GitLab connection. So uh, from the GitLab connection, uh, I'm just uh, providing a uh, sample test repo. Uh, I already have a one project which has some initial comment. So uh, the token we created is always give us the read-only access to the projects. So we can specify over here the GitLab project. And uh, we don't need to specify any credentials over here because we are uh, this repository due to the connection it will it, uh, it is on uh, it is read only available for your project so here we can specify the branch we would like to access uh, if uh, currently we have only one branch i guess in this project so uh, so we have a devops branch as well so we can access the devops yeah, so uh, we have a DevOps branch, and then uh, from the DevOps branch, and we we also have some other branches. Well, we can see that uh, what is in the DevOps branch. Uh, we have a last project, uh, last commit called added welcome dot sh. Uh, so we are building this project through this. Uh, we we don't have any more configuration, so we are just uh, building it up to check uh, our GitLab connection. So we can see our build is a start running now and then we can go to the console uh, console and we can see 
uh, we are we are going to create the uh, project and we were successfully cloned the project and uh, even we can see the last comment message as well so that means so we have successfully connected the read only access to our GitLab so uh, at this point we can configure or connect our any project that is available on our GitLab.com so that is a one great achievement uh, in the next uh, uh, thing which we need to uh, do is we need to create uh, uh, or uh, enable integration with the Jira so uh, for Jira integration I'm gonna have a separate video so stay tuned and thank you for watching this video